Don't you just hate it when single people rant about how great it is being single just so that they don't feel bad about being single on Valentine's Day? Well, how's it people? Wait, 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 you think it's Valentine's Day and I'm not gonna rant about being single? And now you're probably like, but Sam, didn't you already make a video ranting about being 27 and single? Um, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I did. Now, as a single person, I know it's tough being single in a society that is obsessed with being partnered with someone. What I've decided to do is answer a few questions that I and probably many single people get asked all the time. All the time. Or is it just me? I don't know, but I'm gonna address these questions. You get asked certain questions and I've noticed they're usually asked by people who are in a relationship. They feel like they need to, you know, look out for single people. They need to get to the bottom of why you're single. Because, you know, they're looking out for you, you know? You, they, 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 they want you to be as happy as they are. So we'll start off with just my favorite question. And that is, Sam, don't you get lonely? You must get really lonely being alone all the time. Why don't you find someone? Why are you assuming that I'm lonely just because I'm not in a relationship? Here's the thing. Now this, this might be mind blowing for you. Believe it or not, single people can also have friends. Yeah, it's amazing, I know. And when we are lonely, as you call it, we can just go hang out with our friends. It's, it's, it's mind blowing stuff, I know. Also, I just wanna say, my own company is amazing. Like, I, I really have no problems hanging out with myself. I've been single for so long now that I have great conversations with myself. I've even given my different voices, different nationalities, different accents, different personalities. It's very entertaining. Now, if I was born with my own company, then there would be a problem. But I'm never born with my own company. I am so comfortable hanging out with myself. And I feel like if you're not comfortable with hanging out with yourself, then you're the one with the problem, not me. I am so comfortable with my own company that I can sit down at a restaurant by myself. I can sit down at a coffee shop by myself. And you know how difficult that can be living in a country like Korea where being in a relationship is the be all and end all. But not even that can put me off. Sitting in a restaurant by myself, sitting in a coffee shop by myself. I even go to the movies by myself. Yeah, crazy, I know. Now, the next question I get all the time, and I feel as an Indian person, I may get this more than other people. And that is, so when are you getting married? Okay, now firstly, does it look like I have a crystal ball on me? What a stupid question. I don't know when I'm getting married. When I get married, I'll tell you. Hey, I'm married. Secondly, I don't know if it's because linguistics was my second major in university and I feel kind of strongly about this, but seriously, you need to work on your usage of words because you know words carry a lot of meaning in them a simple word like when is just assuming that i'm going to get married it like it's you know just a natural state of being and it's just a matter of time before i get married bro it's 2017 this is not the 20th century times are different i'm 27 i'm still young I've got things to do, I've got money to make, I've got traveling to do, I've got food to eat, I've got paint to watch dry. I think the word that you're looking for instead of when is ah. Sam, ah, 
you getting married? In which case, I will still be like, does it look like I have a crystal ball on me? The next question. Don't you want a boyfriend? It's not that I don't want a boyfriend. It's just I don't want one right now. Because, you know, I'm too busy just, you know, doing my own thing. I just don't have the time right now. Also, I, I, go, into, I go into coffee shops or restaurants and I see Korean couples sharing a slice of cake or sharing a plate of food and I'm just like wait is this what you have to do when you're a couple? I don't even share things on Facebook now you want me to share my cake? Nah. Also you know a little thing called freedom. I love the fact that I never have to consult with anyone when I want to make plans. The other day I asked my friend to coffee I told her let's meet at a certain time and she was like let me just check with my boyfriend if that time's okay. I love the fact that I'm the only person I have to consult with. Do I want to go for coffee today? Nah. Okay. Done. Also let's not forget possibly the greatest thing about being single and that is never ever needing to shave. And you're probably like ew. Listen here, Judge Judy, before you say anything, I just want you to know that it's cold, okay? Korean winter, it's cold, and having that extra layer of hair on your legs, it's handy. I won't lie to you, it's handy. My leg hairs are so long now that I could probably plait them. My leg hairs are so long that Tarzan could probably use them as vines to swing on. Also, not shaving means I'm using less water, so I'm saving the planet. So yeah, the last question I get asked is, Sam, but don't you want someone to take care of you one day? To take care of me? Have I not proved to you that I'm, I'm kind of okay by myself? I've made it to the age of 27. I fed myself, I paid all my bills by myself. Why do you still think I need someone to take care of me? I take care of myself. I wish for once someone would just be happy for me being single. I wish for once someone would just congratulate me for being single. I wish for once someone would not give me pity for being single. Just imagine. Just imagine for a second, imagine if the tables were turned. Imagine if I was the one going up to people in relationships and being all like, oh, why aren't you single? Why don't you just break up with Barry? It's so much better. Sounds ridiculous? Yeah. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Sam, why did you have to go and ruin Valentine's Day? Why did you have to go and ruin it with another rant about being single? Okay, listen, don't get me wrong. I love Valentine's Day. You know what's the best thing about Valentine's Day? This. This is the best thing about Valentine's Day. The fact that I can walk into a shop and buy copious, just unnecessary amounts of chocolate. Like quadruple the amount of chocolate I would usually buy. And no one's going to judge me as the pig that I really am. Because they're just gonna assume that I'm buying it for my special someone. Like, oh, look at that girl buying all those chocolates for her boyfriend. What a lucky guy, huh? When in actual fact, I'm just gonna go home and stuff my face with quadruple the amount of chocolate that I usually stuff my face with. That the best thing about Valentine's Day. See, I told you, I love Valentine's Day. Well, that's the end of my Valentine's Day rant, which kind of had nothing to do with Valentine's Day. Of course, happy Valentine's Day. If you're celebrating it with a special someone, well, I hope you have lovely, sexy times. And if you're a single Pringle like me, well, come here. Just come here, come, come, come. I'm giving you a hug right now. Let's stick together. In all seriousness, this was just a dumb rant. Please don't get things wrong. I'm not anti-love. I'm not anti-being in a relationship. I'm just tired of people questioning my single status as if something is wrong with me when in actual fact, I'm just single. Single people are people too, okay? 
Leave us alone! If you're a single Pringle like me, give the video a like. If you're not a single Pringle like me, give the video a like. Do you hear that? It's the sound of a single Pringle. Literally, it's a single Pringle. You don't, you don't believe me? Look here. There, it's a single Pringle. I, I, I actually ate all the others just so that I could have a single Pringle just for this video. And you think my videos are not authentic? Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll leave my 27 and single video somewhere here. You can go on ahead and watch it. It was my second video I ever made and it's, it's pretty cringe. So if you want to watch something pretty cringe, you can go ahead and click that video. Bear in mind that I'm, I'm still 27 so I didn't even wait for a whole year to pass and I'm still ranting about that. So yeah, you can go on ahead and watch that video. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.